I yeah, like what I OG it's... had, but now with the Kanka and Mars, like the team fight potential, someone to hold them in place. These are all heroes that consume a lot of mana, and Crystal Maiden is gonna help him out with that. So I'm kind of leaning a bit more towards Virtus Pro. Uh, now that of course leaves options though, if they notice. Uh oh, no tail. Lots of damage out early on, and took a lot of damage earlier. This time, it's going to cost him. Epileptic Kid drawing first blood. Seb's just sitting there like, I really can't help you, man. I'm sorry. Mm. And they're committed to this, though, because Seb TP top. Right, yeah, they can't do the whole switcheroo this time around. Um, as over to the side, they're going to go on to mid one again, and VP wanting to play really aggressive. They have Mango still on CM, but the right click's coming through. He needs one more touch, and they will get it. Ilias. Picks up another one. But it feels like things have settled down a little bit um, over the last Radiant couple of minutes here. Oh, mid kind of. One. Mid one's just looking for recovery. This would be a great way to try and get something back for him in his nine last sets. Oh, and no tail moving in. The cogs are there. Everybody shows up to try and mess with DM. And, oh, please um, don't lose anyone for this. Go down. Yeah, you, you can't uh, trade one for one with a four hero gank. That's for sure. And this leaves open a ton of space around the rest of the map. Uh, for, you know, Seb to just farm away, and you've got uh, Topson that's taking over their camps as well. They'll catch No-Till here, gonna pin him to his own cogs, and they will bring him down. Again, three Oh, hit. mid one. Oh, he got caught out. Minute. What is he doing? He's in he trouble. He got uh, the angle, dude. He, he got angled by DM there through the trees. That was a nice play. They, they are definitely setting the pace right now. And OG is still farming in this game and getting, you know, a lot out of it, but... Like you said, Burst Pro is still very strong right now. And he wants that Agnum's build so he can play with his Earth Spirit like they always do. But uh, that, that means no Dispel, right? True. All right, X play. Pulling him back in. It's a hard kill to get. The stun is there, but no armor because the strength form and the beatdown commences. They find the kill. No tail goes down afterwards. Great combo from VP. What does he try and sync up with? I guess uh, probably an Earth Spirit and uh, and Clockwork play. Ooh, DM still getting chased. The rest of VP is connecting though. They can't overextend here. Epileptic Kid gonna throw out the stun. That's just to secure DM's retreat. Oh, they find him. Oh my God! Nice oh, got him play. with the skewer, <laughs> dude. Oh, DM. shish kebab. Oh, that was that was cool. I like that. Man, these guys are stone cold. No tips on anything here. No. Everyone's been talking about VP super serious, or as Seb put it, uh, very nerdy in the best possible way, as he said. And they're on to two of them now. Can they bring him down in time? They will be able to find that kill onto DM. Everybody else from VP trying to back away. Boat's gonna come in afterwards, gonna connect onto mid one, almost dead in the Dragon Slave, just barely gets the kill. Saving that fight. No, mid one just kinda wasn't sure, I guess, on the movements, didn't have a, a death pack going, so. They're not even going to have to give up that bottom tower as they want to see if they can get a quick kill down bottom before the five man. This is a classic post Roche play, right? You split up a little bit because you feel like you're ahead. So now OG are trying to punish that. Okay, Orchid comes in. They miss on the roll though. Save, throws out that LSA, going to connect. Still living though. GPK looks like he's going to be fine and now finding mid one. Can they get the angle on him? They're going to hit it with the stun. And now oh, Seb doesn't want any of this. The chase, save, trying to back away. Soxa will secure that kill but it's gonna come at a cost as they bring down two. It's just a crazy Morphling who's just jumping around the fights constantly. Yeah, he, uh, he he's better Earth Spirit. Uh, that's pretty much what it comes down to. Earth Spirit is held back by his stones and Morphling just uh, is always gonna have the seven when he morphs into him like this. There we go. Silence connects onto both of them right at the start. So much damage. Where's your BKB? Tops He's saving it right after the Aegis. Ilias doing a lot of damage on the No-Tail, but with the one kill and now the Torch Storm, the boat afterwards connects onto both. The chase down coming mid one is in trouble. Can they kill him off in time? Now trying to control Topson. They pull him back in with the X LSA afterwards. And that was not the fight that OG wanted. Virtus Pro punishing. <laughs> Guys, those aren't Aeon discs, by the way. That's just uh, Alias getting levels. Oh, and it's like a man. third time it's happened me this game. That is crazy, crazy. No tail is gonna drop at the <laughs> end. And the really GG tree is planted by uh, by No Tail. There, you know. Well, OG ready to go again. This is the one benefit, as you said, is that you don't have to worry about the number of stones for Topson. So they have the ability to take another fight. 
You know, before they patched it, every time you switch Ooh, back and forth, it gave you full. Right into him. Good silence. Oh, LSA catches mid roll. Okay, good play on to Thompson. Can they bring down GPK in time, though? He's still silenced. He's getting pushed back around. Nothing used from Kunkka in that fight. So they, they lost Sokka, though. One for one. And now can they find any more afterwards? Thompson's still looking for the chase down. He's got to be a little bit careful. Stun dodged by Thompson. Another LSA comes out, but they got to be wary. I mean, it's scary going up the hill. Does have that basher. Good point. And the follow-up route is there. And now they got him under control. Armor going away. Beat down. There's going to be the BKB black hole to make some space for Thompson to escape. But Epileptic Kid just lives through it escape? all. Escape? Doesn't care. And they will destroy him. Yeah, Thompson was leaving. But he did not. Oh, oh Seb! The spear barely catches him. Seb going to be caught. Seb going to be killed. Virtus Pro came to play in this game at number one. And mid one is just tickling him. Doesn't do nothing. They're actually TPing Seb down bottom under vision of this OBS ward still left here from Virtus Pro. This is going to give a big hint as to their current plan. These wards, spamming the couriers smoke. and everything is just amazing. Yeah, so they know they're they're baiting Thompson here, but they actually know that they're too far away because of the ward. Oh, oh it's so good. Damn, dude. They vision, came just a little and gentlemen. bit beforehand. Uh, and because the tower has been hit so far, they're actually going to lose a tier three off of this probably. I, I gotta give credit to Thompson on that bluff though. Man, he was playing so like, oh yeah, don't worry, they're definitely right behind me. And GK. Oh my God, GK? This is crazy. Okay, Torrent Storm and the boat and BKB right. used. Killing the frames here. And there's the Abyssal Blade used, the chase down. Seb's still nearby with BKB, Black Hole, and Blink. And he's just gonna drop it onto Epileptic Kid. This is a lot of damage. He still has the turnaround if he wants it, and Seb might just end up dying. They don't have enough damage. Yeah, he this didn't have enough pulse though. Crazy! Oh, can they kill him in time? They will be able to though. And now GPK also going to go down. So OG have been able to finagle this win here. I mean, yeah, they lost three, but they're going to also end up losing the Sven and maybe the Kanka. No, not quite. They can't get him. Damn. What a okay. weird game. <laughs> they kept them away from Roche. And when it was like Black Hole was down, and now Black Hole's back up, and. They're running into Roach. This is this is potentially scary. Seb's coming Another over Another ward, though. Yeah, they spot him. They, they know that he's there. Hookshot comes in. Going to land onto one. Mo oh, no, no, Seb. No. He gets him right at the start. Seb going to get brought down. Oh, great play. Save. Finished him off with the newly minted Aghanims. And now they're going to pull back in Thompson. What a freaking reaction from VP. Wards, Dude, wards, that wards. Was sick. That was a precast Abyssal Blade, wasn't it? Oh, and but he, he, just, he just saw him. I Damn, mean, I, dude. He, yeah. What a great freaking play from BP. And now they're just they're actually just getting out handled by vision, like completely. The wards are really good this game. So many great reactions. And as you said, set up for by the work of the supports. Uh, there is a support dying down bottom. You know, we're, we're going to give Ilias a break for the moment. Um, yeah, he's super dead. <laughs> Uh, and this is going to be some pressure onto the tower, although still clinks and more for backup. No buybacks available. Oh, but they do have a repair kit. What a butthead. <laughs> this is the worst. It's a great item, that one. Uh, there is an arena still here, but uh, as... Oh, oh, here we go, Seth. All right. Black He's hole a little 50. bit there. Oh, my God. They catch him again. Hogs onto him. They're going to blow up Soxa. That was the second spear mid-roll. Torrent connects onto two. They buy back on a clockwork right away. Another torrent comes out there. Down. All right, VP. How, how determined are you in this mid lane? All right, what, what's our buybacks as well? That's a, a great question for our supports over here. They're Who can throw their one. body in? Like Not no tail. No tail. The oh, there's a lot of damage though with the turnaround. The torrent storm is going to connect. Absolute destruction. They lose the Aegis, but the Abyssal Blade comes out. Free Lincoln Spear. And Seb just has to hobble away as the boat is going to land afterwards onto two. As they chase through, almost got enough to kill off mid one there, but not quite in time. And Soxa again just rolls in, hits on a GPK, and he's done. Looking for more right now. Virtus Pro don't quite manage to get that timing back, but the stun is going to be there. The torrent connects, and Topson 2 is likely to fall. I think they're taking him out to sea. Damn, dude. Big plays coming from Virtus Pro. They force out another buyback, and with that, VP. It's going to back for a moment, regen up with the X plays, and they're going to be good to go again for round two. Well, uh, they're trying 
trying. Hey, he doesn't have BKB. He doesn't have Aegis. This, well, stun. Okay, <laughs> just demolish mid one. Uh, and Sven is able to live through it. And with the Paladin Sword Mask of Madness, he's going to heal back up. This building with the AC done on Sven, it drops it down that much more quickly. And that is two sets of racks down. But keep it in mind, down bottom, there's a big old creep wave there. And they're going to lose a set of racks themselves on Virtus Pro. Stun comes out, he's gonna land now onto the Sven, pops his BKB, turns to fight, beats the crap out of Seb, no tails done as well. And with the BKBs out as well, they're trying to bring down Epileptic Kid, he's really low, but not he's quick enough. The Torrent comes out to save his life yet again, and with the life steal, it's going to be enough. Thompson now left alone. He also is going to be chased down. Oh, wait, he dies to the Magnetize. So and Thompson's so out. Damage. Oh, he got back. Thompson, look at the damage coming from the Magnetize. Can they quite kill the rest of them off mid one? Trying to find the finish there on to DM. But DM will turn and DM will get away. And somehow they managed to stop the pressure. Well, it's here for being assaulted in their base. Okay. So worst case scenario could be kind of bad. Like, let's say they get a double black hole on DM and Epileptic Kid because they're standing next to each other, which they probably never should be. Oh, that could be a problem. Also, as Lincoln, they only needed one. They got him caught. They tried to jump in. Oh, the Spook came out afterwards, though. The Laguna Boy and then the other to break it. And look at the damage coming out from Epileptic Kid. Sox is going to die. Four are dead in less than three seconds. And now the last one afterwards, mid one, trying to escape but he won't be able to and run it down okay. mid. GG is called. Virtus Pro taking game number one. Did you see how close that was? Yes. <laughs> if they had a caught DM in there, that actually could have been quite bad. Yeah. I mean, wow. Okay. I, it's like they both realize at the same time, oh my God, don't stand next to me. Like yeah. we cannot be in live wall range. Virtus Pro, they have a weaker draft compared to the game number one. Uh, okay. Much less team fight, I would say. The chances for OG are much better in this one. The OG, they're bringing it back. As we discussed in game one, if it is there, they will be taking Earth Spirit and Morphling. It's going to take more than one loss to stop it. I don't even know if two losses will do it. I guess we'll uh, possibly find out after this one as mid one dances his way onto that bounty rune. Ooh, and a little chase down. Look at this. DM in some trouble. Can they we'll get, the get denied? Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> <laughs> mid one's the one that gets the final touch. Um, so a nice little start there for the Chaos Knight. The wards, you have to make sure you're getting kills. But that's right. the whole point of having the Earth Spirit. Like That's why Venomancer is actually such an interesting hero. I know he's like kind of viewed as a little bit lame. But I think at least he has varying skill builds. Except don't die right now, man. Come on. Oh. There, see, Gale good. Down. Oh my God, he's sticking around. He, he has to. Crazy. Oh, oh that was my sick. God, barely walking away. He got his boots delivered as well, and now Ilya's gonna get chased down. Does manage to live through it. Now the turnaround. Oh, comes. Seb, no. Let me get to get it. Seb's backing away. Another Gale. He runs in, but not quite able to connect with it. Rolling Boulder forward, trying to catch Ilya's. It's just the battle of the no-lifers up here. Everybody's oh. almost dead. Can you imagine if he died while he was tipping? That was You're going in again. <laughs> oh, what are you doing, oh, Sam? You're crazy. Nice play by Epileptic Kid. And one. Man, DM yeah, is just damage. not getting the spins. That was four units attacking him, and he got two spins? For a They're pretty sustained duration. But I think they might just get him down bottom, although they're also going on Epileptic Kid up top. Can they find his kill on to this spend here? The roll in comes through, trying to maybe find a denier. They could just see if they can find a kill. Right click. Oh, well played oh, by nice. Ilias. Take well, that one away from him. Infinite Wisdom, uh, Pythian followed the correct fight as they didn't get the finish down bottom. And now Soxa can I hurt? Yep, got the kill on to save. Almost went down. Okay. Uh, again, a little bit just crazy laning stage early on. Oh, bottom, mid one. Tries to get him. Gonna pop the ulti. DM, that just creates more illusions for spins. And now Epileptic Kid shows up the stun. It's gonna be there in a mid one. One more touch. Gets the finish. You call yourself a knight? I mean, that's a rotation. It'll be, uh, I mean, mind you, the guy's 3-0 on Sven. He looked really good last game. I'm willing to put my eggs in that basket. They're already kind of giving him the, the treatment, sending Soxa constantly. And Seb is here as well. Has the 2 2 2 build, Ilias nearby. The roll is going to connect. They pull him back in. They're going to pop the ulti. DM trying to look for some spins. Not able to get that much. Another deny possible to come out there. They don't quite get it. Mid one was able to finish him off. Now Epileptic Kid trying to chase down Seb, but a good roll in from Soxa. It's going to cost him his life. Maybe they get in range. They just barely able to get there. LSA comes out afterwards trying to take down Seb, but they pull him in and away. 
and the TP out of there. Oh, he barely. lived? What? <laughs> That wow. is insane. I thought that was going to be enough damage for sure. I mean, look at Ilias just getting... Oh, my God. Triple kill for mid one. What a fight. Man, that armor reduction is still not enough to take down that Sven. He's even going to do it himself while his team takes the tower. So, uh, No Tail is looking for the Midnight Pulse walkout play here, perhaps. Okay. Yeah, you got to be careful. Um, well, he does have that black hole oh, as well, no. though. Oh, my Moves God. In, save so it on top of him. Soxa, they're all trying to run in. Got to be careful. And they will kill off that Earth Spirit. But oh, now looking for the bit. black hole, it catches on to two of them. And that's going to be enough. They take down the Lina and kill save afterwards. What a that great was freaking play. <laughs> no tail. He's like he's playing Beastmaster or something. He's just hiding in there, lurking, waiting. I mean, at the very least, Sven was able to clear out those Ancients. So that was nice for Virtus Pro, but losing those heroes is tough. And that now is true. a 3,000 gold lead for OG DM. Oh, they're moving in for him. Two seconds stun, and now the beatdown's coming. DM goes for that taunt. The steal, oh, though. Going to get strength form for the moment, but he's brought down. DM will die. They'll take down mid one in turn, though. So that's a nice little streak. And Chan on the no kid. The chase down will be there. No tail, LSA connects. Oh. And they overextend it on OG. Punish. Save got the uh, the morph too, or the attribute shift. It, it it feels like there just aren't that many moves that are capable of being made. Maybe if they can catch him from the trees here though, with the rest of the team moving in. Okay, E-Blade. Oh, they're trying to bait it. They're seeing if they can punish this. Topson He's gets so the fast over to on strength. It. And there's the LSA trying to find the beat down the taunt afterwards. Can they kill the pesky morph? They will. Virtus Pro connect and finish them off. Uh, they do just have that blink dagger done now, uh, but they do not have no tail with the rest of the team. They're coming to invade this jungle. They run into Epileptic Kid. DM is nearby and they're actually just going to let him die. No way to save him in time as DM bounces out of there as well, but he's still a ways away from it. And OG trying to take down Roche here in this game number two. They are off to a hell of a hot start. 18 minutes in, 8,000 gold and the Aegis. Bounty Rune Gold, they're slightly in the lead as well. But kind of got a question, what's that fight that they're going to take that's going to hopefully turn this around for them? I guess it has to be around the next Roche fight, but they catch themselves another, and that is the problem with Lena Mid. Um, you just get absolutely wiped. And Tier 3 Tower going to fall here. OG still, what is this, two minutes left on the Aegis. And they're going to go forward. Glimmer Cape afterwards. Lift needs to back away. Pulls mid one in. Going to pop the ulti. And that is going to be a full set of racks. And Virtus Pro are just not interested in Oh, no tail. Right he smoked up at the back line. He wants to play here. Him and Sogs are lurking. That's why they're scanning there, but they're just a little bit too late. BKB done. I, I mean, I don't know what else OG need at this point besides another Aegis, but they're, they're ready to roll it. Thompson's going. God, Look at that range. Jason, dude, that is so silly. Poor DM is going to get caught. He's going to get stunned. Tries to throw out the call, but he doesn't have anywhere left to go. Super duper dead. Yule Scepter's lift up, but the second spear was coming in for you. GPK, what you going to do now? Trying to move in here. Epileptic Kid, maybe a chase down. Do they have enough damage? Ah, they quite. And there's going to be the BKB used. And they still lose two in that fight. Who do they find? They're they walking right by wards. And Soxa, he's over in the trees. Oh, not quite going to connect onto anybody. That is a tough one for Virtus Pro. And actually, they're thinking about running in here. They pop the illusions for the CK. The turnaround, do they find anybody? Roll in, coming from Thompson, finds the jump right at the start. BKB out for Epileptic again. The black hole comes afterwards, catches onto two. There's no follow up. No, there's no black hole though. Can they kill him off in time? Thompson saves the day there, just barely. But Epileptic kid might be able to do some more damage. Nah, he's just got to get out. DM is going to fall. Dude, that turnaround was so sick and it was almost amazing, but Thompson broke him down. But there won't be a black hole. Feels like you have to punish that if you're, uh, if you're VP. Yeah, they, uh, you know, we've commented on their patience, but OG have this like measured patience as well, where they wait for them to do something, you know? They're not just like running into the high ground. Taunted, the God, he's so slow. He's gonna find the jump there. Trying to get the back lines now. Oh, Sansa hey. went in pretty deep and is going to get punished. Leptic Kid finds it and the dunk to finish. 
So VP, find two kills, and this is with Roche back up in five seconds. Snowtail even still moving forward oh, here. They're wait very a confident. Wait a minute. Jumps in, tries to blow him up, stun. Oh, but he's in the midnight pulls. Thompson gets the kill there. LSA is going to connect, but mid one, the long duration stun is going to pull back Ilias, and mid one finds the finish. It was looking good for a moment, but OG, bosh on that. Well, that's kind of annoying if you're, uh, if you're Virtus Pro, is they're going to also take Roche. Dude, if they can claim the outpost and Roche. What a silly game. What a hero. I oh, love Core it. Rubik. Great. Core Rubik? Just better. It's like they took all the fun things about Rubik, put in a core hero, and made him cooler. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Oh, call. Done. God strength back up again in a second. How's this fight gonna go? Leptic Kid takes down one. Can they find it? No, he's just gonna TP out of there. Wise decision. But right now, it is all the OG show in this game number two. They have come up with some really good answers here. And now gonna head on over towards mid. Another call with the blade mill afterwards, but no kill oh, gets the be. big black hole. One more one though. Three tries to steal it. Able to turn this back around. Looking at his own everybody. And with epileptic continuing on the other side, they're gonna take them all down. Holy moly, he saved it. What a play. And the call. Unbelievable. And now the call, the taunt. Can they bring him down in time? Follow up stun is not going to connect. Thompson's got to save the game here. Got to get the hell out of here, but they won't be able to do it. All five fall. What a save from save. Mm. Scotty done, though, on the morph. And. Well, they're feeling a little shook right now, but they're going to run well, OG battles. are smoking up because they don't have black hole. So, you know, they, they want to attack the enemy. I see. Makes sense, right? Yeah, definitely. DM, his TP was broken, so he'll eventually be brought down here as mid one finishes off that axe. Yeah, without the axe, I just play it chill. They, well, they have both wards and smokes, or uh, wards and scans, rather, seeing this play here. First, they thought they were smoked running through there, and then they just see the giant rolling boulders, so... Oh, they know one. the Thompson looks nearby. Three seconds stun. Has the Lincolns on him. He's Save. trying to force a bad Has BKB. that black hole available. The lift comes out afterwards. Laguna Blade going to connect. Oh, they're they're kind of clumped. Got to be careful. CK, they jump in. No tail there no blink. the black hole. He doesn't have blink off cooldown yet. He needs to turn it around, but it's not going to come in time. Oh, call comes out afterwards. Save is nearby. Does he want to jump in with this? There's no spend for 70 seconds. It's really hard to make this work. Black hole comes out afterwards, but the stun is there. No tail saved the day. And able to turn that around. Gives him the next level play as the buyback comes. Uh, oh, you know, he had some risky ones that didn't pay off that one. Even if you're like... 90% sure that he had that blink there. It can still be a little bit risky in that case, but definitely worth it. I'm um, yeah, yeah, I think you're right. I think he must have had the vision on it. Well, save. Roll in. They go. Try and catch him. Lift up on the Thompson, but DM, he's got to find a big call here. I don't know this if it's going to be It's hard. Sven's still 20 seconds away as, yes, Megas will be claimed. GPK trying to run out. They're 10 seconds out. He's got to find the opening for DM. Can they get it there in time? The call it's on to nobody og no are gonna so take good. this game unbelievable as that is going to clean it up here 100 win rate should be confirmed as the call will come out but they're gonna roll in afterwards very very well done as they're gonna set their sights now onto those tier four towers and virtus pro Foreseen uh, every little bit of this from them. Yes, that'll be the end of the one 100% win streak, though. Grab a left kid on his fence. Mm, true, true. They're just fountain farming ready wow, to go they're, in. They're dancing, black hole in, <laughs> DKB in. Well, Dude, they're not. Finish, they're just waiting there. All right, yeah, GG's finally going to get called. OG going to take game number two. Epileptic Kid want to go in for one last ride, uh, but he's going to be punished as the game will end. OG, they found the answers. Yeah, that was a very nice adjustment there. The Venno pick, I think, did a, a great job of shutting down the axe. I think the Venno and the CK in combination, as much as the Morphling, 